Okay, good morning everyone. I'm just going to give one more go to try and get my picture up. And I can't do it. Can't see me today, but to be honest, you don't actually need to see my face at all today. Um, good morning. Welcome along. Um, welcome to our morning prayer service today. Now, I my name's Tom Hunton. I am the curate at this church at St. Paul's Church, Chippenham. Um, I normally lead uh, morning prayer on a Wednesday and there's a pretty set formula for what we do. Um, we normally have a New Testament reading and an Old Testament reading and um, we have set liturgy. I'm going to do something a bit different today. We're only going to be praying about one issue and that issue is racism. It's a very simple service what I'm going to do today. There are going to be three Bible readings. There's going to be the set New Testament reading for today, which is Luke 9, 37 to 50, if you want to look it up. Uh, I've broken it down into three sections, uh, which we're going to read out individually. Um, and I've replaced the Old Testament reading for today with the two readings that um, the Church of England set for um, this Sunday, Pentecost Sunday. Uh, they speak over the entire week, so we can include those today. And I think they really speak about what we're looking at today as well. At the end of each uh, reading, I'm just gonna pause and I will start praying about what we've read. Uh, but this is a live service, so use the comment box. Um, if there's anything that you've been inspired that you want to add that you want to pray then include it and we will um, if i see it i will pray it as it comes up on the screen i will lead us together as we pray over those words if i don't see it i promise i'll go back and i will um pray myself at the end and i'm sure plenty of other people will as well as i say we're only praying on the one issue today on racism um, because it's such a big topic at the moment. If you've got things you really want prayer about that are on other topics, then that's fine too. If you if you want to put those in the comment section, I promise I will sit here and I will pray them, uh, pray over whatever you've put up there um, at the end. Um, but during this um, online stream, we're only going to be praying about racism. I've included some photos in this service to show you what we're doing, to show you where we're going with what we're going to be praying about. Uh, you've maybe already seen them on the trailer for this service that I put together, the little video I put together on Facebook about this. Um, on the uh, left hand side of the screen, we've got George Floyd there, the man who was uh, murdered by the um, police officer in Minneapolis which has caused the uh, or sparked the the riots and the protests that we're seeing at the moment but this isn't anything new i've put um, on the right picture from just a couple of weeks ago this is armored aubrey this is a black man in america who was killed by a police officer the guy was just out on a run and he was killed uh, this has been going on um for years for for centuries um so we're going to be praying we're going to we're going to pray for america we're going to uh, pray as a as a protest as something that we can do as something that we can bring before god there's real issues throughout um to look at here um donald trump ordered a peaceful protest to be tear gassed so he could pose outside a church holding a bible the other day Another crowd in Atlanta was tear gassed last night. As Christians, we should be outraged by this. But I'm also going to lead us as we pray about racism in our country. Uh, we can't just point the finger elsewhere. We've got to look um, at ourselves as well. I've just put up some images here of um, 
racism that has um, seemed to rear its ugly head at football matches again recently, having sort of seemed to have died down for a while. Um, and just put that picture at the bottom as well um, to remind us that we've, we're living in a country where there's a real divide over um over the brexit vote and and you know that's that there's lots of different reasons for voting one way or the other but what's what we can't really argue is what's come out of that is that there's been certain individuals who have um who've seen that it's it's now okay to go out and uh and say uh, things about immigrants or about minorities um, which are harmful, which are racist, and which are not in keeping with the teaching of the Christian church. We're also going to pray about racism in our church. Um, just a couple of months ago, Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury came out and said this. He said, I'm ashamed of our history and I'm ashamed of our failure. There is no doubt when we look at our own church that we are still deeply institutionally racist. And this stuff lies really heavy on us. So let's bring it to God in prayer. Every day we have an opportunity to start afresh, to be inspired afresh. Throughout this service, um, there's not a whole lot of liturgy, but where there is, um, some words are in italic, which I, as the leader of the service, will pray. Um, and um, you respond if you would like to join in with the words in bold. So let's start. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our first Bible reading is um, from John chapter 20, verses 19 to 23. This was a reading from Pentecost Sunday three days ago. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace be with you. After he had said this, he showed them his hands and side. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. So with that reading in mind, I'm just going to lead us in some prayers. And if you want to add anything in the comment box, I will pick up on that too. Lord, we thank you that you banish fear and you come and stand amongst us. Lord, thank you that you're here today, even if we maybe don't even recognise your presence. Lord, we thank you that it is your Holy Spirit, the breath of God that creates and gives life. Lord, comfort those of us who today say, I can't breathe. Lord, bring justice to America. Bring breath to America. Bring leadership that is inspired by your Holy Spirit to America. Help us to forgive too, Lord. Help us to forgive racists. To forgive those police officers. To forgive Donald Trump. And forgive anyone whose actions anger us. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Another reading from Pentecost Sunday and now. This is Acts chapter 2. And I've just highlighted verses 1 to 6 and verse 21. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now they were staying in Jerusalem, God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard their own language being spoken. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. I'm just going to pray out a prayer, um, some words that that Steve has put up on the live comment box, maybe picking up on our first two readings. He reminds us that the sacrifices God desires from all who follow Jesus are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. Oh God, you will not despise. No offerings we can bring are so precious as contrite tears. So God, be merciful. God, be merciful to sinners and use us, Lord, according to your purposes, shape and direct our prayers now and in the time to come. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, thank you that just like those disciples gathered in that room, we can be filled with the Holy Spirit and it can move us like breath, like a strong wind. And it can alter our course and turn us around to see things differently. Thank you that that passage in Acts 2 reminds us that your church is for all people, all tongues, all races, all backgrounds. No one is left out. No one is above anyone. Remind us of that, Lord. Remind us that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Going to move on to the reading set for today as i say i've done this and broken it down into three parts and we'll pray after each part because i think each part inspires us and it inspires us in a different way this is luke 9 37 to 50. on the next day when they had come down from the mountain a great crowd met him just then a man from the crowd shouted teacher i beg you to look at my son he is my only child Suddenly a spirit seizes him and all at once he shrieks. It throws him into convulsions until he foams at the mouth. It mauls him and will scarcely leave him. I begged your disciples to cast it out, but they could not. Jesus answered, you faithless and perverse generation. How much longer must I be with you and bear with you? Bring your son here. While he was coming, the demon dashed him to the ground in convulsions but Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit, healed the boy and gave him back to his father. And all were astounded at the greatness of God. Now we can talk about healing and what is happening here another day. 
All we need to know now is we look at a God who makes all things clean. So would you heal this world, Lord? The unclean spirit of racism has seized us all. We see the symptoms everywhere. Help us to drive out this unclean spirit, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The second part of Luke chapter 9 reading. While everyone was amazed at all that he was doing, he said to his disciples, let these words sink into your ears. The Son of Man is going to be betrayed into human hands. But they did not understand this saying. Its meaning was concealed from them so that they could not perceive it. And they were afraid to ask him about this saying. going to pick up on a prayer from Sue saying um, let's pray for church leaders everywhere and particularly at the moment in America. I think that um, reading guides us quite a bit to that future church leaders, disciples around Jesus, scared to ask him questions scared to speak about a subject that was difficult so lord we thank you that in jesus we see that you aren't afraid to speak about difficult issues give all of us the courage to do the same help us overcome the human fear that the disciples felt that meant they were afraid to ask difficult questions Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the third part, the third part of this Luke 9 reading for today, an argument arose among them as to which one of them was the greatest. But Jesus, aware of their inner thoughts, took a little child and put it by his side and said to them, whoever welcomes this child in my name welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. For the least amongst you is the greatest. John answered, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name and we tried to stop him because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, do not stop him. For whoever is not against you is for you. Just want to read out a prayer that Anjali has put in the comment box. Spirit of the living God, help us to discern the ways in which our actions or inaction, our words and thoughts reveal our prejudices. Help us to be open and honest. Help us to be hospitable and generous in our relationships. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, would you change our perspectives? Would you help us not to look like those disciples were doing, for who is greater and who is lesser. Would you banish inequality, Lord? Lord, heal this tendency to tribalism. We see it in churches. They're not following us. They're not our denominations. They don't look like us. Banish that from our hearts, Lord. You are the Prince 
of peace. Remind us, whoever is not against you is for you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Come to the end of our readings for today. But before we go into the Lord's Prayer, I want to pick up on a couple more prayers that have been added to the comment box. Praying with Lisa, who says, Lord, we lift those people who don't understand or who choose to not acknowledge what historically has happened to our brothers and sisters who don't have white skin. We lift those people up to you, Lord. And ask that you would break their hearts for what breaks yours. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Claire prays, search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there's any offensive way in me. Lord, show us if we have any racism in our hearts. Show us how we should be responding to this situation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And a prayer from Steve, who says, where no words are possible, we simply raise our arms, Lord. Let hallelujahs form and come with confidence into the heavens for the tearing down of strongholds. For our fight is not against flesh and blood, but you know, Lord, Use us as part of the solution. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Simon's just uh, put up the curiae's put up um, this prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, for we are sinners. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. I wanna lead us in the Lord's prayer now. The words are in bold. Please do um, join in, say the words at home as you see this on the screen. It's a wonderful prayer for this moment because it starts our father. It's not my father. It's not your father. Our God is a God for all people. I'm not made in his image any more than anybody else is. So we say our father. Our father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We've come to the end of our morning prayer service today. Thank you for joining. Thank you for um, praying alongside me. Um, thank you for putting comments in the comment box, prayers that we could all pray together as an online community. Um, prayer is supposed to inspire us to go out and say and do things differently, to go out and think things differently. So we pray that we will be inspired to be different and to think differently and to share more of the love that comes from our God of love and justice. I'll conclude um, today's service by saying the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me today. I think actually maybe it was a good thing that I couldn't display the video of my face in the corner of the screen for this particular service because actually it's not important that 
um, I'm visible, we need to think about making everybody visible. Have a good day.